Hello viewers, today we will learn about pivot tables. Why do we use pivot tables and what are the additional benefits that these kind of tables provide us? This is what we are going to look today. So this is the dummy data that I have. I have some customers, uh, names, their cities, their year of purchase, month of purchase and some sales. Okay, And from this data, if I scroll down, there are only 20 observations. And if I want to have a look at uh, only the sales by David Montgomery, for example, what I will do is that I will um, select data filter, very simple, and I will only select David Montgomery, here, here he is, okay? And if I want to select more, I can select from here as well. So I can get multiple uh, people from here and so on. But for example, what if you want to know, let me clear this up first. What if you want to know um, company sales by month or company sales by year or company's total sale by customer or by city, right? So definitely you can do this manually as well, but uh, the pivot tables make your job much easier. How do they do that? Let's do this. So. Uh, just a bonus tip if you want to select the table from here to the bottom that I have right here one of the tools that Excel provides is this this one right here so if you click this it it selects the entire sheet but if you just want to select the filled cells what you should do is select the first cell on the top left press ctrl and shift and press right arrow right and then the first row is selected. Now, again, press Control and Shift and press the down button. Okay. Now you have the entire table selected. Okay. Now you have this. And if I want to insert a pivot table, what I do is I go to Insert menu, and I have this pivot table right here. I just click this. Then it is asking me. It only already selected the table that uh, the selection that I already made it is mentioned right here and I can either have the pivot table in the in this sheet sheet number one or I can create a new sheet for it so usually it is preferable because you are making a, a pivot table for a kind of a presentation to some other people like your boss or something then it is much better to keep it clean and have it in a new worksheet so let's do that okay let me zoom it zoom in a little bit Okay, so this is how the uh, empty pivot table looks like. We have the columns right here. In sheet number one, we had these columns, right? And uh, our pivot table recognizes that these were the columns. Now, the easiest or simplest way to just have a sum of sales would be to simply take this to the values uh, box right here. What we have here is that we have columns. If I put something here, some categories like customer name or month or something, they it will show up in the columns right here. If I put something here in rows, it will show up in the rows of the table right here. And in the meaty part of the table where the numbers are supposed to appear, you can put any kind of calculation right here. It could be percentages, could be sums, or it could be anything else. We'll see in a moment. So if I don't select anything, customer name or any of the categories, if I sim simply put this sales right here, I get the total of sales, sum of sales right here, right? So it's fine, but it's not really useful for us. What I want is I want to have sales by customer, right? So I could put customer's name right here. Once I do that, you can see that the total sales is still the same, but now you can have a breakdown by customers. Now this is well and good. What if you want to know how much of the sales were made by each customer in a particular year? For that, I can have it in two ways. One of the ways could be that I could drag this year to the rows. This is also fine, but I personally prefer to have this kind of thing on the column side. 
this way it seems a little bit more intuitive and a little bit more easier to read so you can see that from Ahmed Khan this company made some sales uh, from uh, um, in 2014-15 not uh, anymore after that from other customers you can see by by years as well you can also do this by months drag the months here you can see in which months this was happened of course uh, it's much uh, better to have year and month together so you can also have it like this so for example if somebody had like for example john hicks had purchases in january in both 2015 and 16 if you don't put the year here it will just sum up the january sales and it might give you a wrong impression so that one was about the sum of the sales but what if you want percentages pivot table also allows you to do that so what you can do is instead of having just sum of sales what you can do is go here go to value field settings and here you can see what kind of percentages you want so there are several options right here let's do the very basic one so if i simply select grand total what this does is that it takes the value of this cell and calculates the percentage of this value as compared to the grand total right here in most cases this is not really useful so let's try something else we also have percentage of column total what it does is that let's go back to the uh, no calculation so we have these numbers right here um, what if I want to know in January how much of the percentage of sales were made by Ahmad Khan right or if I want to know out of the total sales made by Ahmad Khan, Ahmad Khan how much of the total sales were made in March as compared to January right so we can do that using a different type of value field let's go here and you can select if I want to know in January how much percentage of the sales were made by each customer I select this because it is taking the percentage of the column total right here and we select this so you can see that all of this is 100 and we can see that 21% of the total sales in January were made by Ahmad Khan uh, and so on. So this is done by column. You, if you want to know uh, about how much percentage of the sales made to Ahmad Khan were in March or in January out of the total, then you, you need to have percentage by rows. How do you do that? You go here, you do percentage of row total. So now we have hundreds right here. So you can see that 63% of, of the total sales made by Ahmad Khan were made in March as compared to January, right? So this kind of analysis can also be done here. And there are many other options you can play around. Uh, right now we are just looking at the sums. You can also look at averages. You can also count them. If now we have sales, that is a monetary value. Let's say that you have number of people who went through a particular um, door of a building, right? If there is a marker right here, you if you want to know on what particular time of the day most people walk through that door. So you have to count the number of instances. In that thing, it's in that scenario, you have to have this count number. Then you have minimum, maximum product and many other things that you might need for your analysis. So that was a really brief introduction of the pivot tables in Excel. You can also have pivot charts that we will look later on. Um, so if you have any questions on this, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I will try to answer them or make separate videos on them. Thank you so much.